Good prizes, and so ladies, if you've entered at the trade fair, you have a chance to win here. Let's give away a couple more gift certificates, compliments of Regions Bank, the official bank of the celebration. From Total Eclipse, Doris Armstrong, Eaglewood, Tennessee. And from the Willows, Judy Scott, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. So Doris and Judy, you can go to the celebration main office and claim your prize, compliments of Regions Bank. Answer the gate call for the Under Amateur Youth Riders on Walking Bears and Gilded's World Grand Championship. Let's welcome the Youth Riders with a nice round of applause as they take the track at a flat walk.
go on the reverse. It's time for somebody to go out and grab that World Warfare Championship and bring it home. Who's it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to get involved. This more show. Everybody showing black ball. South turn exhibitors, line them up in the south turn, please. got this evening in Shelbyville. Let's take a look and see what the weather's going to be like for the rest of the weekend from our friends at News 2. Hello, Walking Horse fans. I'm Lisa Patton here in the News 2 Storm Center. I guess we should be celebrating the beautiful horses and the riders as well as the weather. It's been perfect for you in Shelbyville today. You can see we've had a few clouds dancing around, but mainly clear out there tonight and comfortable. You can see up 231. No precipitation showing up. 64 looks dry. 24 is looking good. We're going to try to keep it that way through the weekend, but there could be a little fly in the ointment. Let's take a look at Predictor, and you'll see that it keeps us quiet late night tonight. I know you'll be there at the arena late night and then trying to get back to your lodgings. It looks like things will be quiet for you. Now, Predictor does show on Saturday morning a little bit of action. Shelbyville's a about right here. So it wants to hint it may be a few little light showers and mostly cloudy skies. The showers may stay off to the east of Shelbyville, but you might want to have your umbrella handy. They're going to be close at two o'clock still off to the southeast against Shelbyville right here. So maybe a couple of sprinkles nearby. It's not going to be a driving rain even if you get a little action and just be some light shower activity, but then it should push away from you before the big event Saturday night. So the weather forecast looking like it will cooperate for uh, the big finale on Saturday evening. Evening. Now tonight, of course, you know it's comfortable out there. Temperatures down into the 70s with a light north wind feeling good. Tomorrow's forecast keeps us mostly cloudy. Again, maybe a sprinkle or two. 75 degrees your high temperature with a north wind at 5 miles per hour. And then tomorrow night, all the hoopla and dry and cool weather to go along with it. About 70 degrees for the evening events with a light north wind. And Sunday looks dry for your wrap up and travels home. Hey Brad, how's it going? Real good, buddy. Haven't seen you in the here lately. Oh, that's because I'm on News 2 now. Hey, a big movie star now, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Man, looks awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Brad Schmidt, now on News 2. I'm News 2 Sports Director Chris Stout with big news for Titan fans. The Jeff Fisher Show has moved on News 2 from Mondays to Friday night at 7. Join Joe Dubin, Brandon Fisher, and me for Titans on 2 with Jeff Fisher at Friday at 7 on News 2. Time to give away our final two gift certificates this evening from Regents Bank. 
from Total Eclipse, a gift certificate goes to Linda Cotton of Bell Buckle. And from the Willows, a gift certificate goes to Marilyn Warner of Oneida, Tennessee. Linda Cotton of Bell Buckle and Marilyn Warner of Oneida. You've won gift certificates to Total Eclipse or the Willows, compliments of Regions Bank, the official bank of the celebration. The Youth Division, sponsored by Shiloh Farms of Bellbuckle, premier sponsorship by ENC. Corporate sponsorship and commemorative award by Dr. Jim and Kay Green. The award is presented by Dr. Jim and Kay Green. Susan Gordon Memorial Medallion, given by the Arthur Gordon family, Stonegate Farm, Orange, California. The medallion is presented by Barbara Turner. Spotlight sponsorship by Pat and Sue Harrington, Coto de Casa, California. Floral Horseshoe, donated by Lane's Inn, Bob Lawrence, and Carol Hutto. Thomasville, Georgia, it's created by Creative Touch Floors. Floral Horseshoe is presented by Carol Hutto. The championship trophy donated by Jostens Incorporated at Shelbyville, presented by Alice Johnson. The 2005 year in walking horses donated by David L. Howard Incorporated at Shelbyville. The David O. Buttram Memorial Challenge Trophy donated by Dean Buttram Sr. and Dean Buttram Jr., Center, Alabama, and presented by Dean Buttram Sr. and Dean Buttram Jr. The ribbon in the class is presented by Samantha Mohan. We ask our winner of this class to pull ahead and to your left, riding into the spotlight all the way around the track until you reach the west side where you'll park in to receive the aforementioned awards. The first time the blue ribbon of this class and your owner amateur youth riders on Walking Mares of Gildings World Grand Champions are entry number 465. Watch and be dazzled. Mary Morrison makes the winning ride for Andrew Morrison of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Championship for the Magnolia State. Watch and be dazzled. Mary Morrison aboard the Andrew Morrison entry, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Other awards also to your left, please. Reserving the class to 1056, the American General. Maisie McSwain, the exhibitor for the Dan McSwain family, Alpharetta, Georgia. The American General, 1056, is second. Third to 3171, which is 1959 in your program. Prism Sky, Mary Beth Blessing, your exhibitor for What a Blessing Farm, Bristol. 3171, Prism Sky is third. Fourth in the class to 1016 Jazz Time, Jessica Adcock, your exhibitor for the Mickey Adcock family, McMinnville. Jazz Time, 1016 is fourth. Fifth in the class to 2216, Rare Cash, Lindsey Wall up for the Mike Wall family, Oxford, Mississippi. Rare Cash, 2216 is fifth. Sixth award to 753, my silver bullet, Barkley Woodward, the exhibitor for Jesse Woodward, Hartsell, Alabama. 7.53, my silver bullet is sixth. Seventh award to 31.93, 271 in your program, heartbeat of Motown. Jenna King, the exhibitor for Gus King, Arab, Alabama. 
heartbeat of Motown, 31.93 is seven. Eighth award to 4.91, I'm an evil rebel, Madison Holloway, the exhibitor, and owner, Kannapolis, North Carolina. I'm an evil rebel, 4.91 is eight. Ninth award to 11.39, she's a jazz thing, Kelsey Faris, the exhibitor for the Faris family, Germantown. She's a jazz thing, 11.39 to the ninth award. Tenth and final title, 22.86, Main Majorette, Caleb Kilburn, the exhibitor for Salt Lake Farm, Salt Lake, Kentucky. Main Majorette, 2286 is 10th. Let's take a look at our Blue Ribbon winner and World Grand Champion for Youth Riders 12 to 17 on their mayors or guildings. It's 465, watch and be dazzled. The Mary Morrison aboard the Andrew Morrison entry of Hattiesburg, Mississippi.